San Filippo syndrome, it's a terminal uh, genetic degenerative disease um, in children. It's kind of like a childhood Alzheimer's. And uh, our foundation is out to fund research for a cure or treatment options for these children. Um, we're specifically looking into uh, anything that accelerates the path to allow these children clinical trial options as soon as possible because um, the disease is so rapid that often by the time a child is diagnosed um, they're nearly at the top of their cognitive functioning and then you know their their capacity um, and cognitive functioning begins to be taken away very quickly like falling off a cliff so the urgency is, is uh, paramount. It often looks a lot like uh, autism. Many, many, most San Filippo children are, are first diagnosed with autism-like symptoms. Um, there's other very common things, recurrent uh, trips to the ENT, the ear, nose, and throat doctors, more than usual, uh, a larger head size. Um, there's, there's several other things that are, when you put them all together, it's, it ends up, uh, it ends up potentially being San Filippo syndrome. Children begin falling behind in school, so then it, it goes into uh, complete dementia, really, uh, and then wheelchairs, feeding tubes, and then usually death in the teens. So there's no available um, FDA-approved treatment or cure for San Filippo, which makes it very difficult when you go to the doctor's office and you hear, you know, we're sorry, there's, there's nothing we can do. There are clinical trials happening in enzyme replacement and gene therapy. Um, so things are advancing um, and advancing at a, at a good pace. The, the problem is time and the problem is the limited number of trial spots for children.